Now that was the easy part, and now comes the most difficult part. Getting this thing actually working, because I need to get it up there. That's why it got me wondering, how will I get up there? Which kind of ladder should I use? And I need to do some electrical work up there. Yeah, maybe postpone this to another day? I don't know, but I want to open the door with just using my voice. Okay, well, let's see. Now, one of the first things I need to figure out is how will I get a power supply there? Because I see that there is only one power slot there, which is used by the uh, electronics from the garage opener. And I think I need to get a new socket there. Okay, I figured it out. I have a solution. Yay! I'll put this kind of thing exactly there. Sounds so easy, right? Very easy. Look, it's almost there. Next up is the door sensor. I'm currently having here a uh, Sonoff door sensor, which is connected to my Samsung SmartThings hub, but I'll replace this sensor obviously with the one provided in the packaging. And I need to install it there and run actually the wires from here to the main unit. Because this plug needs to go in to the main unit, which will be there. And these two wires from the main unit will be connected there somewhere, according to the uh, connection scheme. Let's get this garage heated and start working. Now, there you have it. A portable working station. Let's test it out now. Here we go, safety first. pretty up high here and in the manual it was set to power on the Meros device first and then connect it to the to the terminals of the uh, garage door opener well it seems a bit strange to me but yep let's go this way Did it turn on? Yoo-hoo! It's alive! I will open the Meros up and connect this device to the Meros app. Now the garage door opener is working quite well. Uh, it opens and closes the garage door based on the input which I give from the uh, Meros application, as you can see. Now I have to finish up the wiring of the door um, sensor because I just basically, yeah, 
just faked it for the application that the door is closed so that it would understand that the door is closed and would allow to do something. The connection process was really simple, I would say. Nothing really kind of difficult because it doesn't make any difference how you connect it. So yeah, let's uh, continue with uh, the connection works and uh, finalize the project. And the door sensor is installed and in place neatly. So everything is working now. Now, one of the reasons why I prefer to use Meras products is because they are seamlessly integrated with Samsung SmartThings. And it's important for me because I use this uh, platform as my smart home uh, management system. Hey Siri, open the garage door. Hey Siri, close the garage door. I've been using the smart garage door opener for a couple of days now and I really enjoy the convenience of opening the garage door just with my voice. So if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, like it, comment and as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers! Yeah, that's something which uh, my children built. Huh.